the light's gonna be an issue. And you're gonna be out of the picture for a lot of it, Mike, so I'm gonna get close enough to get the audio in. Scooch close at kids yeah, as if we know each other. We're all friends now. We've had beers and cigarettes together. I've had beer. You want beer? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. And a little bit. Fully on. It's kind of dark down there. Setting up a drum kit can be dangerous. Yeah. Uh, particularly stairs and all that. Yeah. We dealt with stairs. This, these we stairs aren't as thick, nearly as bad. This is true. Cool. So we are. Um, let's actually. Ruining our game, dude. We Come just on. started, James. What happened? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's all good, man. I want that lighter back. <laughs> I don't trust him. Cigar. Party. Cigar party. Uh, anyway, please. Yeah, 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 we're sorry. 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 So thanks, guys. <laughs> We, we, uh, we got a great hookup to do the drums in a really nice studio, but we're working with a friend um, who plays in another band in LA who has a wonderful ear for music and acoustics and how, you know, just everything that it would take to properly track uh, the guitars and the record. You know, we worked with the same people. I mean, it was the four of us on Curtains with Murphy and uh, now with Dogs, who's the same crew. Um, ha however, we were, you know, one album more mature as far as how we, how we knew, basically knowing how to do what we wanted to do. So getting into the studio, again is a lot easier than getting into the studio for the first time. can't hear the headphones they say it sounds too much like Marilyn Manson which on, on the on the blues driver when you the tone switch which one is for low end to the right so you go in with an idea of like I want to do this and I know how to do it as opposed to going how the how do we get this sound or where can I pull this from <laughs> all right well first we have the um, Mesa Boogie. This is the triple rectifier. This is Kay's old amp he had in his old band. So he doesn't really use the head that much, but uh, it offers a lot of bite, a lot of grit. So it's really good for like heavy stuff. So we use it for recording. Um, and then the 212 cab, which Kay actually uses with the twin now. So he gets 412s basically. Kay's twin reverb, which is basically the workhorse of Fender amplifiers. And um, everybody uses them because they're fucking perfect. So we use this, and this is the one we've been using the most for the recording, which is actually come through quite well. Uh, next we have Kay's practice amp, which is a tiny Marshall full stack. He only brought the half stack, but he does have the full, it's pretty sweet. Um, but it offers a lot of good bite, especially for recording because it offers a different sort of, um, like the Marshall tone really cuts through and makes a big difference as far as contrast to the Mesa or um, the other distortions we have on our pedal board. So it's just a nice, you know, um, whatever, contrast. Then we have these little guys, which are tiny, the little teeny Roland, which is actually property of Closet Studios. Um, so Murphy let us use this one, which we haven't used yet, but we're gonna use it for some solos. And then we have my very first amp that I had, which is the Rock Bug, which is really cute. And you can actually put it on your belt or like in your pocket. So I like to strap my guitar and play with it there. Uh, but I'm gonna use this for the Circa solo. Um, and finally, we have Murphy's amp, um, which is, uh, I think it's like a 76, but there's no year on it, but it's like a 70s model concert amp, which is uh, extremely rare, and not a lot of folks have them. Um, so it's pretty cool, it's got a lot of warm body and that 70s sort of tone, and it's got the vibrato, which sounds really cool. So we use that on new metal, it was nice. That's it, those are the amps. We had, to tape, we had to tape it down. Oh my, this is amazing. <laughs> let's let's get some light in here. Isn't he cute? Wow. That is absurd. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
You want to use a room mic on this or? Very professional. Very... So we've been taking our time with that and just kind of like tracking for a little bit, coming back, tracking more. Um, and you know, when you have three guitar players in the band, it's just like a bunch of bad egos. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, but like, it's like, you know, oh, I want to layer more here and here and like, but we had the time and he's a friend of ours and he really wanted us to be methodical about the recording approach and really take our time. And so that's just what we did. I mean, there's no real rush for us. Delay, expression. Is your chipmunk or what? That's nice. That's one of the most beautiful things I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> That's like the bridge to Narnia. What's Narnia? It's a lesser version of Middle Earth. Oh, yeah. I like the idea of sort of writing on the fly because you're not necessarily going to be able to write everything you can think of before you go into studio. And so there's something to be said about that intangible, um, you know, fly by the seat of your pants kind of thing. Oh, god damn, that's fucking awesome. Okay. I think I know what I'm doing here. I want madness. There are a lot of points on the record that I listen to and I'm like, wait, when did that come up? Like, how did we do that? And then I realize it's my guitar and I'm like, well, how did I, where did I write that? Like, did I do that? And you just forget because you're in the studio so much and you drop a line and then you forget about it. And then it makes the mix and then it comes out and you're like, whoa, that's interesting. And so I, I, I think that also keeps it fresh for us. We don't get bored of it. I haven't yet, at least. Gain, do you think, so what do you think would be the best? More gain or more trouble on the pit pedal? Lay down up on that, we'll tweak all the knobs to full. Okay. Oh, I think I'm ready. How did that uh, translate? <laughs> my uh, my idea was utter chaos. How did that go? Yeah? Did you hear anything outstanding that I bricked? Good. That's the answer I like to hear. <laughs> what does that do it again? <laughs>